how all to manage product variants today we will be taking a look at how can we use product variants variants are different versions of a main product in manufacturing we can use product variants to expand our large range of sellable products to ensure that we are providing items to fit all our customer preferences we can make different versions of a base product so in order to make the base product let's discuss about how can we manage the product variants in manufacturing you can just dive into the manufacturing module and before starting this topic let me inform you that i have already installed and activated the product variants let's discuss about how can we make product variants for test chair you can just go to the products so we have already configured the products here we can see different products with its variants and the main product also ergo desk chair is the main product and you have to set the product type as storable and you can set the sales price and when you back to the inventory tab you will be able to see we have set the road as replenish on order and manufacture so whenever a customer places order and we don't have sufficient quantity of the product you have to create a manufacturing order and under the attributes and variants we have set uh the attributes for chair color and optional headrest here we have chair color as black red and blue and we can also set an optional headrest which is detachable so we can make a variant of the desk chair with headrest or without headrest so as we have set different variants here you can see totally we have six variants and you can also configure additional prices for particular product so when you click on configure you would be able to see you can set an extra price for the variant with headrest so yeah we are providing extra uh, price of 70 for the product with headrest so when you back to the products you would be able to see all the products that is the product variants over here but all has zero quantity now we have to create a bill of material for this so which i have already configured under the product menu choose bill of material so here we can see the bill of material that we have created here you can set the product name and the reference and you can choose the bom type as manufacture this product under the components you can add all the components that you want to use while manufacturing the desk chair so i'm setting uh, different components such as chair frame chair base chair caster and we know we have different chair colors such as black blue and red so we will have three variants of chair color like black cushion blue cushion and red cushion and we can also see we can manufacture or produce the product with black headrest red headrest and blue headrest so you can also set the quantities that you want of each component and you can also provide the variants of each component so we have said that and we have also set the consumed in operations so if you want to get additional fields like product i mean apply on pro variants or consumed in operations you can just click on this icon this would allow you to add additional fields when you go to the operation tab here you would be able to see the operations that gonna perform and you can just get into the operations so here you can see the operation name as well as the work center that we used to manufacture the product and you can also set the manufacturing default time after that yeah just close that and you can also choose optional assembly which is used for manufacturing the product variant with headrest and here we can set the default time as 15 minute itself and you can save that that's pretty cool right 
and you can save all the changes here and we have created the components operations and all now let's see what's happened when a customer places order so you can just go to the sales module and see how a customer place order for this you can choose the quotation and let you uh, make some order for the product and you can choose the main product so let me choose the main product wow you can see we have got the configuration tab of product to, to, to choose the color or optional product because we have set certain variants and you can choose the variant like the color and the optional headrest so if i'm choosing the desk chair with black color and with headrest you can see the total price will be given here and if i'm not using the headrest you can choose no headrest so that you can see the price over here this is pretty cool right now if you can just confirm the order i mean just confirm the variant and save the quotation and let geo make order so geo is going to uh, confirm the order so yeah as you confirm the order you can see before delivering the product we have to manufacture the product because we don't have sufficient quantity so let's see how can we uh, do that so here you can see the number of quantities and when you back to the work orders you would be able to see the work orders and all now also ensure that you have proper components as per the requirement of the customer so here we can see the product under the components that is chair frame chair base chair caster and black cuisine as we have seen that customer geo has placed an order for black desk chair with no headrest now let's go to the work orders and under the work orders you can see the tablet view and click on that and we can see different uh, materials uh, or the components now if you can see the time of manufacturing of all the components you can validate one by one click on validate now you can see we have consumed chair frame now we need to consume the base chair so click on again validate and we need to consume the chair caster and black cushion so finally we have done and you can just mark as done and close the manufacturing order yes that's pretty cool and you can just back now when you're back to the orders you can see you have manufactured the order which means you have completed the manufacturing order and finally you can deliver the product to the customer so here under the delivery now if Michelle admin can set the done quantity and deliver this product to the customer and finally it's done so this is how we manage product variants in manufacturing that's all about the topic